Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another musical moment in the life of the old-time rock and roller. Today, we will be focusing a few minutes on a story from the golden age of rock and roll. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started. The Battle of the Guitar Gods, July 1969, where at the Newport Jazz, Rock, and Blues Festival in Newport, Rhode Island. It was a three-day festival. It was the first time they opened the, really the Newport Folk Festival up to rock, and they brought in a ton of British bands. Jethro Tull, Led Zeppelin, Jeff Beck, 10 years after, a lot of great groups. They had Johnny Winter and B.B. King. I mean, it was a packed lineup. So Friday night, I got backstage. How'd I do this? Well, I was dressing in all of the period clothes of the day. The same clothes that all the rock stars were wearing. My hair was down to here, and I looked the part. I had a camera that said TWA on it. And I just strolled right in through the security. And one day, one of them said, uh, you know, you got a pass? I just showed him my camera. Said, British Press. All right, come on in. So it was a Friday night, and Blood, Sweat, and Tears had played, and Rashawn Roland Kirk had played. And I found Jeff Beck's dressing room. And I walked in, and there was Ron Wood and Rod Stewart, and they were teasing their hair and combing it up, and hairspray was flying everywhere. David Clayton Thomas from Blood, Sweat, and Tears got the wrong room, and he unfortunately opened the door just when they were in a battle with their hairspray, and he got doused with it. So Jeff decided he was going to go out and take a walk. Well, I was walking along behind the risers and the dressing rooms, and up walked Jimmy Page. They weren't scheduled to play until Sunday to close the show, but Jimmy wanted to come up and see what it was all about. So he said, hey man, how are you? I said, I'm doing great, good to see you. And he said, man, I'm tripping on some wicked acid. You, you got any downs? I said, no, I don't have any downs, Jimmy, but I got a joint if you want to smoke it. And he said, sure, yeah, let's do it. So I lit up the joint, took a big hit and passed it to Jimmy. He took a long drag and whew, I could see a sigh of relief on his face. And after about five minutes of smoking, he had regained his composure and was feeling pretty good. And we started talking about meeting in the Yardbirds and Zeppelin at the tea party and such. And then along came Jeff Beck with his gold top strapped around his neck playing his licks down the hall. Jimmy saw him coming, and he immediately grabbed his Les Paul and strapped it on. And Jeff said, hey, Jimmy, how are you? And Jimmy said, hey, I'm fine, I'm fine. What's up? And Jeff said, hey, man, have you seen this lick? And he played a blistering lick. And Jimmy said, ah, how about this one? You know this one? And Jeff said, ah, check this out. And he played another incredible lick. And Jimmy said, oh yeah, well, how about this? And Jeff said, oh man, check this one out. And this went on for about two and a half, three minutes. Two of the greatest guitar players on the planet and me taking it all in, 19 years old. So finally, Jimmy started to burn out and he took his guitar off and he handed it to me and he said, here, you play. And I thought to myself, are you freaking kidding me? You just played in a guitar battle with Jeff Beck and now you want me to continue in your place? Well, Jeff didn't know how good I was, so he said, well, how about this one? And he played something incredible. And I played something. Jimmy's guitar was easy to play, but I knew I was so far in over my head, I had to quit or risk serious embarrassment. And I said, I'm just here to relax and listen to you, Jeff. And I handed Jimmy his guitar back and he put it back in the case. 
So Jeff strolled off. He said, so long, mate. And they went out on the stage with Rod Stewart and the band, and they tore the house down. Man, they just were inspired beyond belief. The night lights came on. It was dark. He played his ass off. Man, it was just unbelievable. And as I drove home that day, well, that night, I thought, wow, I was a part of a guitar battle of two guitar gods at the time, perhaps the greatest in the world. What an honor. What a thrill it was. And that is my musical moment for that particular day. Hope you enjoyed this story. There's plenty more. And I will see you down the story highway on the next musical moment with the old time rock and roller. Stick around, my friends. There's lots to come. So long.